to maintain the pure culture for action and periods in the viable conditions okay. to maintain the viable conditions of the cells we preserve our cells so that they can be used for a longer time and during preservation the most important factor is to stop microbial growth or at least lower the growth rate Improve toxic chemicals are not uh, accumulated, and hence uh, viability of uh, uh, microorganisms is not accumulated. So these are the need for the preservation. So what are the objectives of the preservation? <coughs> to <coughs> maintain the isolated pure cultures for extended periods in viable conditions. And to avoid contamination, to restrict genetic mutations. So these are the objectives for the preservation. And what, what are the need for the preservation? To the need for the preservation is to to observe only one percent bacteria. Which is pathogenic and harmful to plants, and 99% of the bacteria population are economic importance. Okay, so we form these economic importance uh, bacteria and the fungal species. We isolate different important uh, products and. Uh, it indicates that uh, these food bacteria and these fungus are very beneficial to us. Okay. Not only they are harmful, only one percent are, are harmful, but ninety-nine percent are beneficial. So we need to isolate them, we need to purify them, we need to preserve them so that we can use them for benefits. In soil for nutritional uptake in the food industry. In serious treatment in medical industry, we, we are using these microorganisms. So, the preservation of bacteria and the fungal species are more profitable than practical. So, we are using the academic purposes, research purposes, biotechnological field, and fermentation industry. So what are the different preservation methods for bacteria? Uh, first is the genetic transfer of fresh medium. Second storage is low temperature. Third is storage in sterilized food. Uh, fourth preservation by our laying culture with mineral oil and live nitrogen or heat storm. So far is the genetic transfer of fresh medium. So, uh, the cultures can be maintained by periodically preparing fresh culture from a previous stock culture. And the <coughs> culture medium the storage temperature and the time interval at which the transfer are made vary in the species. And the temperature and type of the medium chosen should support a slow uh, rather than a rapid to the growth. So that the time interval between the transfer, okay, and the time interval between the transfer can be as long as possible. Many of the more common retrofoxin in viable for several weeks or several months. Okay, because they are 
are with uh, high zone that tolerant to high temperature conditions. And uh, the transfer method of the disadvantage of failing to build changes in the characteristic of research strength to do develop or developing the problem. Next is the storage at low temperature. Storage is conducted in two methods, refrigeration and cryofrigeration. So first, refrigeration. <clears throat> Low temperature can be successfully the transfer. The pure budget can be successfully stored at uh, zero to four degrees centigrade in the refrigerator or in so it is a good technique for the culture storage. And this method is applied for the sole uh, duration of uh, storage for approximately two to three weeks for a bacteria and uh, Three to four months for the female. Mm -hmm. Because the metabolic of the microorganism are going to be slowed down but not stopped. So it is for this slowing down of the metabolic activity. Okay, so the microorganism keep itself for a longer time. As the growth continues slowly and the nutrients are utilized and waste products are released. Next is the cryofrigeration. Cryofrigeration is the freezing in the liquid nitrogen at minus 197 degrees centigrade or in gas phase above liquid nitrogen at minus 150 degrees. And it helps in the survival of the pure culture for longer time, longer storage time. And in this method, the microbes of the culture are rapidly frozen in liquid nitrogen at one nine, minus 196 degrees centigrade in the presence of stabilizing agents such as the diesel, dimethyl sulfoxide. Okay, so these diesel uh, and dimethyl sulfoxide prevent the cell damage to the formation of ice crystals. Okay, and it promote, uh, they promote the cell survival. The liquid nitrogen method has been successfully in many species that can be preserved by life vibration and most species can remain uh, viable under these conditions. Next is the storage in the sterile soil. Uh, storing organism in soil is conducted in two groups. Sterile soil uh, is tested with small amount of inoculum. Okay, immediately dried and stored in the refrigerator. And soil, second number, the soil infested with the organism, then incubated and allowing, allowing the organism to grow. Thus, the mycelium and the cooperative uh, unit of uh, second generation are preserved. The soil preservation method is useful for fungi and uh, by this method echinomycetes are maintained in soil for four to five years that are uh, severely bacterial species which are also maintained in soil for several years so this uh, storage in sterile soil is used only for the fungi and only for the echinomycetes Next set of preservation by our land culture with mineral oil. So this is a simple and the most economical method of maintaining pure cultures. In this method, the sterile liquid production is old over the soft land. Now we first we prepare this land, then we we pour the liquid production. Okay. On the slide, on the slant. The tubes are stored in a bed at room temperature. The layer of the paraffin ensures another condition and it prevents the dehydration of mycelium. So, those are good techniques. 
allow the bacteria not to dry. And this condition has to occur in or pure cultures to remain in a dormant state. And therefore, the cultures can be preserved for four months to years. Okay, what are the advantages? Uh, you can remove some of the growth under the oil with a transfer needle. Uh, a press medium and still we preserve the original culture. The simplicity of the method makes it attractive, but changing in the characteristic of the stem can also occur. It is uh, the other application method is simple economic method. Agar's lack are inoculated and inoculated and they are incubated using this method and they are, then they are covered with sterile in the oil in the depth of the one centimeter above the tip of the slant culture. The next technique is the lyophilization or freeze drying. Freeze drying is a stabilizing process in which a substance is first frozen. Okay, first a substance is or the culture medium is frozen and then the quantity of the solvent is reduced first by sublimation and then absorption. Better preservation of course with freeze drying than with the other method because freeze drying reduces the risk of ice crystallization and comprises gravity. Removal of the water from specimen effectively prevents the damage. Lyophilization is greatest with the gram positive bacteria, which are spore forming bacteria, and uh, it, it, is, <clears throat> it is lower so gram negative bacteria. But variability can be maintained as long as the 30 years in the lifetime method. Large number of the virus of the tired organism can be stored with limited space and organism can be easily transported long distance at a room temperature. Uh, the process of combines freezing and dehydration. Okay, lifetime is technique. It combines the technique of the freezing and the dehydration and organisms are initially frozen and then they are dried lowering the atmospheric pressure with a vacuum process. The specimen can be connected individually to the condenser or can be placed when they are dehydrated in a large oil source. So the uh, storage wires which we are using are different and the glass wires are used to our freeze specimen and freeze is performed in chamber, double glass wires are used. Okay. So we can also use some chamber method and outer soft glass wire is added for protection and preservation of the dehydration specimen. Silica, silica gel renews are placed in bottom of the outer vial before the inner vial is inserted and friction with the cotons. Some cryo protection agents are also used. Uh, two most commonly used agents are skin milk for chamber lyophilization and sucrose for the uh, manifold and sucrose is also used in as a cryopreserving protecting agent. Okay. So what are the advantages? It is used for the removal of the water flow temperature. It is thermo labile measures can be tried using this method and stability can be maintained. Means 
it is used for a number of period of times and uh, every transistor is easy using this method using the affiliation method so <clears throat> I hope that you have a better understood all the techniques of the preservation of the microvoltage. So the question which can arise from this lecture, explain microvoltage, explain the different techniques for the preservation of the microvoltage. So my lecture is over here. If you have any query, you can ask me. So thank you very much.